okay. Ist immer noch, genau, jetzt kannst du gleich eigentlich wegrollen. Achso, blöd, das ist jetzt Max, der gewohnt hat. Wahrscheinlich ist das Hanf mit dem Roller. Ja, <lacht> ja, ja, ja stimmt schon. Wir ja. müssen jetzt nicht rollen. Okay. Ja, bist du zufrieden? Also. Super. Ideal, ja, wirklich. Das ist jetzt ja, wirklich freut mich. Ich habe die Deinbot Depot jetzt gelöscht. Sie fein. Disconnect this. Connect it and press then. Oh, now it's working. Nice. All done. Let's move BMS version. I will activate this for him. Maybe he will use the Ninebot app. I think that he said he is going to delete it, but doesn't matter. Aber die Dynepot Depot wird gelöscht. Error suppression, disabled charging mode. We have to use this, I think, because of Maya had problems. I had this not active. So charging mode was enabled, and then when I drove and pressed the brake, the I don't know the battery, the BMS probably talked to the BLE and said, "Hey, I'm charging now." And then the BLE had some turned off and on. Today I want to ST-link this Linebot G30D. Uh, this is from a guy who lives near here, and as you can see, he has a seat here because. He has a problem with his feet and he's always sitting because he cannot walk that good. And normally uh, when he bought it the first time, everything wa was perfect, he said. And he's normally sitting on here and normally he sits here and moves it a bit for, I don't know, maybe one a half of a meter or one meter and he presses the throttle and it starts driving but he made an update with the ninebot app there's no turning back you take the blue pill the story ends you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe you take the red pill you stay in wonderland and i show you how deep the rabbit hole goes and now uh, it changed something he said that maybe he needs now uh, a higher speed to get this activated after the update, it is not working for him, and he, yeah, he's challenged, and it's difficult for him. And now I'm going to ST link this thing, and as you can see, it's a German version. We are from Austria, and in Austria we can drive 25 and not only 20. So I'm going to ST link it to uh, re uh, make it go 25 kilometers per hour, and maybe we will reduce the the speed we need to one kilometers or two kilometers per hour so if he's again able to sit on it and move it just a bit or we will see maybe he wants it completely deactivated so he can start also when he's uh, going uphill because for him it's really difficult he says when he has to go uphill he uh, turns the scooter around and goes downhill and then he has uh, to uh, give a bit of, of a throttle, so speed, and when he is driving, he has then to turn around, and this is really crazy. But that's the only possibility for him now. And ST linking and SH firmware is not only for tuning and for crazy guys, it can also help people who are challenged. And I'm going to show you at the end when everything works good. But what I found out, he never actually pumped up his wires uh, and his tires, sorry, and I will show you something. I have bought eight of these in a set from Amazon. I will put the link in the description. And this is really handy because, as you can see, here is a so called Rückschlagklappe or a Rückschlagventil of German. And they cannot, uh, the air cannot go out, it can only push, be pushed in. And this is the problem because normally, when you buy these things, you have uh, like a short cable, and if you screw it in. Yeah, it's, it's losing the, the air. Air gets out. So now with this, let us test. I will unscrew first this screw. Or what? Uh, put this on. And now, as you can see, I, I turned it in and there's no air getting out. We cannot hear it. But there is already, I don't know, maybe two bars or less. So now we can connect it. And easily pump it up. So you don't need a Xiaomi electrical pump or something. Just get these things, guys. And it's great. And I will give him one of these. So he can use this later. Because there is also not 
enough pressure inside. Let's check the pressure. And maybe I have to connect it a bit better. Yeah, one moment. Okay, now my girl wants to help me and to pump it up. I think that you can see the pressure. I hope so. There is a bit of a shadow, but doesn't matter now. I have to connect, connect this better because I have to hold it. Otherwise, it maybe will tilt. So now it's connected and we can now pump the air in. Yeah. Can I try? Please. Thank you. Now let's see. I have to check by slowly pushing in. I think we have now around three bars and this is enough. Also, it's more efficient when there is more air inside. Yeah, and I will also pump the front tire too. And then unscrew this thing and everything. And he has about 800 kilometers already on it, or 700 and something. You can see it already here. I thought maybe it's because of the, the tires, because there, there is no air inside. But maybe that's the reason why he cannot start away. And yeah, you will see. I will ask him if I can make a video when he came. Uh, he, he comes to, to take the scooter with him again. And then you will understand. So thank you to all the scooter hacking guys who make this software and everything. Because you're helping all the people. It's not dangerous. If you use it wisely and for some people it is great because he also already thought that he also already wanted to sell this scooter it's perfectly working but only because he cannot adjust some settings he cannot use it and that's really sad and only because of an update he said it it was all the time the same and after the update he was not able to to push it and to start it by just pressing here and with a small push like getting to three kilometers per hour so yeah we will see I will now open this yeah this looks okay. Now it is not moving, and I don't know if you can see everything. Nice. Okay, this is what I'm searching for. Can you see it? Let's see which one fits. I think maybe this one, T15. So, uh, T15 looks good, and let's use this Milwaukee. And now, I never had to open up a scooter, mine is still closed, only flash the firmware, I had luck with the versions and everything, so this is for the motor, this tree, and I need the cable for the battery, and it looks like it's behind here. Let's try to get it out. And this is the first thing that I want to disconnect the battery. And I have to make sure that I'm not making causing a short or something. 
Can I get it out with my fingers? Yes. So this is. It seems like feels like the silicone case. Okay. And here is the warranty sticker, as you can see. And I already talked to this guy and told him that I have to remove this and this will void the warranty. And he said, yeah, it doesn't matter because for him in this condition, he cannot use it anyway. So let's unplug the battery. I think that we are not going to make a short here. But if you want to be 100% sure you can use something to some tape or something and put it over it. So now the control is disconnected. And the motor cable is that's easy. We have all the colors. Yellow, blue and brown. And for this controller, the newer controller they have, they, they screw it in, the cables. They're not just plugged in like this, because with this connection, I think it's 30 amps or something, or maybe 32. They're rated for this amps, so about 32 amps or so. And if you modify it and you get more amps, it can happen that this melts. So some of you maybe know, some of you do not know. A lot of people are changing this, but it's another story. We are not going to modify it to go that fast. It's only important for an uh, easier start and 25 kilometers per hour. So this is, always, this is going to stay stock everything. Okay, I think I can get in here now. And as you can see, here's the charger. And we need to unscrew it. There are two screws here. I think you can see one of them here. Have to check if we can use this T15 security torx. Let's see if we can get it in now. The T15 still. Yeah, now I'm able to to get it out. There is a thermal pad in between controller and the case here, so it can transfer the heat to the case and then it is cooling the MOSFETs and so on. So the screw felt in, now on the left side and the right side it's still on and it looks like this. So maybe make sure that you do not lose one, some of the components. Yeah, it feels like there is there is some plastic over it, but it isn't. And it's probably silicone that I'm feeling now. It's coated. They're using some, I don't know what material it is. You can see it here. And maybe we have to scratch it away so we can get to the points. And now let's disconnect everything. And you have to disconnect this one, or maybe you have a new newer controller, but make sure to, to press in here before pulling, so you can easier pull it out, now you can see it. You have to press in here, and then it opens. Okay, number one, this is from the BLE, looks like, the cable. This is the second one goes to the battery, battery management system. So, okay, now the battery is fully disconnected, I think. This is the charger cable for the battery, this is not needed to disconnect. And there is also some cable, this is probably for the brake light. 
let's disconnect these two and the last one goes to the motor probably the signals so this is everything that needs to be disconnected okay guys now let's see what we have we have the controller this is from the g30d and later we will switch to the pc so i can show you what you need to download and everything and i have here a st link then i have a soldering iron and it's probably needed for this one you will see and normally this is the quico t12942 that i'm using i'm using it for a few years now as you can see i updated this used some tape over here because this is sometimes moving but doesn't matter uh, also i bought a few days ago this thing here because my family is here and normally i only work when everyone is in bed but now i can also work when they are sitting in this room normally i open a window and with this one it is going to filter the the dust from solder and normally i have this inside here and i just open this get this out and turn it on and then it's working but i have now to connect quickly the cable and when i'm finished it's cooled down and i can just put it in back in here and close this okay so now let's switch to the computer i have a windows 10 pc and check what we need now for this one for the g30d this is the controller version 1.1 i will show you the site and where you can download it i'm um, registered on the site called uh, rollaplausch.com you can see it here i will put the link in the description maybe there are some other sites but you can find out and here is a tutorial if we go for example let me show you the first site normally we start somewhere here and we can go here to iskutov and select Ninebot forum G30 or another one. Let's use this one. And then we can find it here. Here is a SH firmware tutorial and also a ST link tutorial. From when I press here, it's from the 40, uh, 24th of August 2022, but maybe there are some updates already. Yeah, it's constantly changing because when you watch this video in a year maybe there is already something new and everything so it's best to go here maybe to this side or to the telegram page and ask there or read something a bit and you can actually use the google translator to translate everything because it now it's in german and if you do not <coughs> understand german it's easier for you to translate it so here is written what we need now we need Make sure to read everything if you have maybe another controller and everything but i know what controller i have i do not have the new generation version 1.1 with the at32 this one has the older stm32 chip and you can also check this with the scooter hacking utility on the phone there is already now the version 2.2 but that's another story now we can download the scooter hacking reflasher and if we press here here we can download it it's 14.2 megabytes i already did this and then we had the zadiac zadic utility windows usb driver and also we can download this i downloaded here there are other versions but i use the 2.8 this one is updated on the first of march 2023 so that's nice there is a usage guide also is available here we can check the guide also how we can use this that's also cool we can let this open and then there is the st link programmer that you can buy normally from amazon or aliexpress and if we press it you we're going to get to amazon and you can also search for it i will put the link of the cheapest one I can find in the description guys computer and maybe I will also upload these files and you can download them then from the link in the description um, we need a computer with Windows 10 64 bit that's okay I don't know if Windows 11 maybe also works but I'm on Windows 10 anyway 
Uh, we need an adapter cable, save sound fitting. Uh, we can make it by your, us. And I have, I will make something. This is not the problem I have here. Already some cables and I have another other cables here. Some, we will see. And this is the, the connection. So let me quickly open this like this and you can see it better now. Normally on the STL link we have this connect connector and as you can see we have 3.3 .3 volts, 5 volts and this ground cable RST, SV, DI0 and so on and we have to connect SV, DI0, ground, SV, CLK and 5 volts. And you can see 5 volt and ground goes to one spot and these two has to be as you can see here they are not using they're not soldering it we can just use something thin like a needle or something to to press that them in and then flash it so it is possible also without soldering but we will find oh you can maybe solder this onto the needle or so <laughs> yeah <coughs> we will try it and find out Learning by doing, guys, or reading. <laughs> Actually, learning by reading here. And that's it. Here is some. Let's check this. There are the cables that they use for this mod or something. You can buy them. Maybe I will also link this in the description. This is the cable actually that is also on the controller connected. It looks like the PA. 2.0 zero so the millim there are two millimeters in between the pins and it's called a PA connector or something looks like but we don't need it we can also use it make it without this but if you want I will put links in the description technology yeah they're using like uh, needles two needles and I will ask my wife if she can give me two needles maybe I can also use the needles or we will see okay that's it guys and then here we can see the different models this is the g30 the, it is also flashable and i think all of them are already flashable maybe the latest not but v1 is flashable v1.1 with the uh, stm32 is also flashable uh the at32 sorry and yeah this is now the one we have as you can see there is also a coating here five let me open it five volts are here ground is here cl cv clk and svdi zero are next to each other here and with a needle maybe we can just press in the needle and do not have to to scratch this coating off and so that will be great okay also i already updated the picture to the to the folder and Let's go back here. Let's close this. One, two. And there is the new controller. In my 9bot, I have this controller, the version 1.1, and it is also already flashable. A few months ago, I think it was not flashable. If you. And on this one, there are some different connections. These two are different, and also it looks much different. It, they are screwed in the motor cables. But that's another story. Uh, there is some clone, okay. X bot, there, it's not flashable if it looks like this. Okay, nice to know. And let's read it. What do we need? It's, you can see this is like a really, really nice cable for someone that is doing a lot of flash. But I will try it without them. Maybe I will use some needles. Probably for this, okay. And there is a video. Let's see the video. He shows it. As you can see, you can easily do it. And maybe this is also the, the controller that I have here. It looks like this. Now it connected with power is on. It's flashing. That's good. And then as you can see, he, he just puts in the needles. He can stuck stack stuck them in here through here and then hold them. That's cool. And when he holds them, you can continue with the process with the flashing process so that's cool we can also scratch them nice 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 
launch recovery list. Okay, guys, now it's time to, to install everything. Let's start by installing. Let's see, it was here. Scooter hacking reflasher. Reflasher, let's see if we have to. Okay, it, I want to start this. It's for some re security reason. There. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter now. Let's put it onto the C drive. Create shortcut. Okay, let's create a shortcut quickly. Install. Launch. Yeah, we can launch it. To run this application, you must install Netcore. The framework Windows desktop app version 3 was not found. Would you like to download it now? Yes. As you can see, it already automatically guides me and it already downloading it. Cool. Okay. And now I will quickly put this also into the folder. Okay. Now let's run this. And we have to install this. Documentation installation. Yeah. And there are also some direct links you can see here for downloading and so on. It was installed successfully. Nice. So we have to quickly go to the desktop. Okay, now we can read it. This software is provided without guarantee of any kind, express or implied. Use at your own risk. Okay, let's see. Now we have it. The Reflasher version, version 1.3. And what do we need else? We need this Z, 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 A, D, A, D, or Z, Z, D, or I don't know how it's spelled. Do you want to allow Zedic to check for application updates online? Uh, no. More information? No, I don't want to. Up, to up. Okay, and we can maybe check it by ourselves. Help online about... Okay, okay, okay. Looks good. And now we have to... Are there some drivers to install? Let's let's see. Now we can connect the ST link to the PC. I have this wires here. This is a jet uh, jot ST connector, I think it's called. Jot ST2. And this is not going to fit probably here. But uh, I can do something to use them. Uh, let me show you. This is the one I have now here, but I'm going to use a screwdriver. Probably it's also possible without a screwdriver. We can just get these pins out here. Just to... Uh, we have to bend this all a bit. Not that much, it's easy. To also do that. And we can probably use... Now... I don't know if it is... You can see it. You can use these small things and get them then in here but we have to make sure that we are not shorting them out and then we can connect them get them in and it's a good connection really good connection and it's easy to to coat them with something or use shrink cables but i'm going to use the the right colors so red and red and black are the two i need that's cool the yellow one is not needed let's put it back in here and this we can put in here and then there there's not needles but maybe i can also press these things in as you can see i have here a set i will also put a link in the description for this and there are a lot of different cables and stuff and actually this looks good from one side as you can see we have this 
these things here it's male and the other side are female and we can probably put them in and I want to sh make sure that we have the same colors so let's use green and yellow like on this picture we can now use these two get them all that's it these two are not needed put this aside links for this are in the description for this set there is a lot of stuff inside i think there was also breadboard yeah inside here yeah we're doing this together guys i also have now this usb extension and for me it's now easier to I open it yeah for me it's easier now as you can see it this one came away oh, oh, this one came with uh, female to female and we are going to use female to male and these two on these two we can maybe extend them a bit and use like two wires cut this away and connect them I will use the black and red and extend them eight meters of three millimeter shrink wires here let me get it out and we can use them cut like four pieces four short pieces two for this and i will use two pieces also here to to cover to cover the connector And if you do not want to solder, you can also uh, like uh, cut this away a bit longer and then just twist them together. You can use these two and then twist them nicely together. And it's also okay connection, let's say, but I want to solder them. And what's cool, I can now use this and turn it on. It is going to be a bit loud, but as you can see, I can use these things here. To hold one of them in place and the other one and then just solder them together I can also shorten this a bit but I will shorten it after pre pre soldering it here is the solder and it's the solder I use I put links in the description but you can see it okay then it's to 360 I think at the moment yeah 360 is nice it's a good soldering iron that's pretty okay forgot to turn it on it's going to be a bit loud but it's working that's important turned off the soldering iron it's not needed and now we need we need this a clipper guys a beautiful clipper and now good connection yeah 
I didn't heat, up, heat it up too much because if you heat it up too much maybe the solder connection is going to melt again so chain we need your help I'd like to press it a bit with my fingers here on the corners so it's really not going to move anywhere later the shrink wire how it's called that's it and now for this I'm also going to use the shrink wiring I have a bit a shorter one and I think that this is going to work we will see if it does not work don't do it like me so this looks okay Maybe we can push it a bit further oh yeah this looks okay like this I think and now let's <sighs> okay we are good to go I think now yeah normally I also like to use this for grounding when I work on electric stuff Let's put this on over my hand, or you can also put it over your left foot, right foot, whatever. So it is not going to, to make problems. And it's connected to ground point. Okay, the second one. Put this over here. And I don't like this cut, as you can see, it's not not perfect now it, now it looks better but I will rotate it anyway because this looks even better so now let's put it a bit over here yeah melt this stuff and press a bit on it so now as you can see it's you can see it sorry for bad filming good connection here Jane, thank you for your help. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. I have this ST Link V2 and it looks different from the picture. On the picture there is SVD, it's on on the picture also the ground is on four, but here is the gr the ground is on six. Okay. Let's connect it like it says here, ground is on the six, five volt is on ten, on the also on, on nine. And we need the SVDIO, and this SVDIO, I don't know if you can see it on this one, it's on 3, ground is on 6 or 5, it's a bit different than on the schematics, so make sure to to check it, we will see. So we need the green on, on f the number 4 here. Okay, now it's connected, and what do we need? The yellow one, the SVCLK. SVCLK is on number four, ah, uh, number two. Okay, and for me now it looks like this. So on the left, right corner, yellow, green, then black, then one free, and then the, the red one. That's it. Okay. Now here is the controller. Let's see first what is going to happen when we connect this because maybe we need to update something on this. Some f Let's connect it quickly. Okay, it's flashing. Now let's check what we have here. It, it uh, the find the STM32 ST link nice, and now we can install the drivers. And before installing the drivers, I will to, I will check quickly 
hear what it says about the driving field there, to think. Mm. Okay, guys, I read here that we have first to update the STLing model to the latest firmware, and here it says version 2.J37.S7, and we can also find it. The upgrade is a part of the STM32 ST link utility. And I know I don't know if I already uploaded or downloaded this utility. Is it somewhere here to download? Did I forget to download it? Mm. Still in version 2 programmer. No, probably. Yeah, let's see. There is a link. It's in Midu Flasher packet. It is in the Midu Flasher packet. So let's go here. I already opened it and downloaded the Midu Flasher package. Put it in here. Now we have it. Midu Flasher version 1.0.5. Let's open this uh, driver. Uh, in the driver, ST link version 2.0. Here it is, 37 point, okay. Let's see if we can drive upgrade. Let, let me quickly extract this here. Maybe we first need the, the driver. Let's see. Okay. Okay, guys. First, I installed now the driver from this folder. I use this one. And then I can probably start this X as you can see here I started it already and now it it find it found the the firmware or the, or the, or the, the device as you can see drive device connected without the driver it did not find it so now we can press yes and it's installing it okay this video is going to upgrade is successful okay nice okay now we can close this and i want to quickly just disconnect this connect it again i don't like that this moves a bit but doesn't matter now let's start again this where are we Midu Flasher version, no, we need this Zadig. And now we have to install the USB driver. Win USB driver with the Zadig app. Okay, Windows USB driver, it's selected. And install. Does it work? Yeah, installing driver, it took a few seconds. But it is working. I hope that after this we have everything ready. And then we can start the scooter hacking reflasher version 1.3. Yeah. Let's let's see. Installation can take some time. Okay. We have to wait. And, and then we're almost done, guys. And yeah, I thought it's possible without soldering and you can do it without soldering because you can wire this together like this wires that I connected here. Okay, the room is close. Nice. I think we can close this now. And then here we have to click on Max. Mr. Started and Reflash on Machtal. Okay, we have to select 9 bot Max. Here it is. Then 
on the peripherals of the DFL skill chain. We need here DRV, that's good because BLE is something else, yeah. Okay, guys. Uno momento. Uno momento. Okay, guys. Um, now I open the reflasher, and you need to select here nine bot max. If you have the max, it says here everything. You can read it and do it step for step. Here is DRV selected, and then we have to type in the serial number, and you can check it on the on the scooter. There is a serial number or before getting this thing out you can also connect to it normally and read out the serial number with the scooter hacking utility and then you can type in the kilometers and he told me i didn't check it but he told me i was 700 kilometers and that's what i typed in now and the next step it's not a 8032 this one the 8032 normally is black it's not full full metal and that's another chip. That's nice. Then we can probably, I will just copy in or paste in, let's say, the, the serial number. Why is, is it not? Is it not possible to, to paste it in? Oh no, it is. Now it's post uh, pasted in and we can press launch recovery. But first let me quickly check check the pins that we need here it is so there is a capacitor so i have to rotate this thing so ground is connected and five volts let's connect the five volts they are here the upper pin let me see yeah, perfect. I can lift this thing. Perfect connection here. Now ground. Let's check the ground. It's next to it. And this is perfect. I don't think that we will short out something. And it's already shining. Flashing green. And there is also some red LED flashing. Okay. And then we need these two. And this is also still connected here. Let's check these two. Where do they have to go? We have the SV CLK. I have to check it again. Um, SV CLK is the yellow one. The yellow one goes to the to the plus. And next to it is the DI. Oh, it is the green one. Yeah, that's it. And now we have to connect them here. You can see it on the picture. I will now try to press them in. So yellow goes on the left and the green one goes on the right and I will first put this one in here. And the next, this thing next to it. Sorry if you cannot see anything. Yeah, with needle it's a bit easier. But I think I can manage it with this also. Now we can press launch recovery. And let's see what's going to happen. Couldn't connect to target. Okay. So let me... Maybe we need to... To hold them down. With two fingers like this. I hope that it's a good connection now. And then press launch recovery. Couldn't connect to the target, okay. Start the reflasher again, okay. Settings, show console, reflasher ready. Unable to connect to the target. Yeah, I will try to solder it on and see, maybe this is the problem. Let's disconnect this again. And Need uh, some knife or something to remove this sh stuff here. Well, let's try soldering it on. Maybe I have a bad connection, not sure. It feels like everything is connected good. I don't know if I can use this screwdriver to remove this stuff here. Yeah, it's easy to remove. Don't want to scratch something, so 
a bit carefully. Okay, we're already at the bottom. If it's possible that the connection is just a bad connection. Let's solder them on. And off when I solder them on, I'm 100% sure that it is connected like it needs to be. Turning on the fan and turning on the soldering iron and disconnecting, of course, everything. So now I wired two thin silicon wires onto it and let's connect the ST link. ST link. It's flashing again, these are not shorting out, that's good. And press launch recovery, couldn't connect to target. Unable to connect to the target. Error, initial mode failed. Let's see if I disconnect this. Connect it and press then. Oh, now it's working, nice. All done. Now it worked. Okay, that's interesting guys, I disconnected this, connected it and pressed launch recovery and then it worked, cool. And what is what is going to happen if I launch recovery again? Oh, it's working again, okay. It should now be okay. I will set it to 700 because it was on 700 kilometers. Let's see if I can launch recovery again. All done. Okay. Should be good to go now. Let's disconnect this thing. And we have to check if this worked. Have to unsolder everything again. Let's remove these wires first and then the others. And yeah, it's possible without soldering according to this stuff, but for me it was easier with soldering. You can use this liquid electrical tape if I'm able to open it and just put a bit over. It's not needed actually, but doesn't matter. Let's put it back in and see. Before I build this thing in, I want first to connect it quickly to be able to see if the software and everything is okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. They're all different, so. Let's connect everything first. Yeah, put the power cables in also. Does not matter. And I'm not sure if the SH firmware is already flashed or if there is some other firmware flashed on. Looks good. As you can see there are holes. So it's on two sides. Make sure that they get inside the holes here. Then this is with four pins. This was the one here. Then we have also the LED light. LED light is inside. This was the cable for the BLE. Connect this also. Let's get this in here. Snapped inside. I heard it snapping in. Probably this one was free, I have to check the video. But let's connect this. And see if we can turn on the scooter. There it's down here. Let's 
turn this on. It beeped. You cannot see it now, but wait. I will hold the camera like this. It beeped now and let me now try try to connect it uh, with the mobile phone here. Let's start the scooter hacking utility. And here is the scooter, that's good. We found the scooter. And let's see, we have the... I will cover the serial number. But as you can see, we have the 173, guys. That's nice. And if you normally have this software, for example, and you have the STMF uh, 32F or the other one, the controller version 1.1, you can go, I will show you the flash process, you can go here to, to config, as you can see it says config not detected, okay, you can go to flash, now we're on flash, and I have the latest ver version here, you can check up version 2.2, let's go back, and now we can attempt dear feed download or just start flash. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's try to attempt the deal without. Probably it's not needed, but it doesn't matter. It cannot harm. Press yes. Flashing. And it's now downloading the or flashing the firmware. It beeped. This looks good. And later we can configure it together for this guy to. work for him nice it beep probably now restarting or restarted already flash complete nice okay guys now we have one six one three okay and let's go again to flash Load from repo. Let's try this DRV. And yeah, it is the 1613 comp. Okay, where's the SH firmware? Show params load load custom attempt. Load from file. I don't have load custom. Install update. Okay, now we are here. Install update SH firmware. Okay, load, load custom and then install SH firmware. Now we can select one. And I will use the 173. With this one we can use also 163 or an older one. But let's install this one now. And then start flash. I'm not sure if this was needed to attempt a down downgrade. But anyway. I did this on mine with controller 1.1 now it's flashing the firmware and then I will also downgrade the BLE to 1.14 and that's it As you can see it's flashing flashing please wait controller is still on uh, scooter is still on controller <laughs> I'm doing that much con that many controllers PS5 controllers that time already talking about him. So it beeped turned on again 75 okay has been installed such uh, sh firmware has been installed uh, successfully flash any firmware okay nice it's on so we can now see the sh firmware 026 that's it guys and now the BLE let's get the to flash again and then load from repo BLE and select the 114 and we have the compact and the stock 117 this is normally for let's use the 114 and then start flash and it's beeping again and flashing and I connected it to Bluetooth and also had to turn on on this one the locations yeah GPS you have to turn it on otherwise it won't connect now it flashed that's it guys 
we have now uh let's go to config quickly not detect yeah it is connect connect now it's asking because it did not detect it but cancel this now it connect and uh, find it it took some time to connect but now as you can see we have config we have profiles and everything as we saw software is working maybe it is easier for some of you if you have a friend that is holding needles or something into it and then the other one can just quickly maybe connect or disconnect the plus if it's not working or maybe just on the ST link just connect the plus and press flash Put is built together again. I'm going to start it and let it sit here. And now we can connect our phone and do everything that's needed to set it up for him. I will talk about the setup and start the screen recorder quickly on this phone. Okay, we have the app started. Let's connect. Now it connected. It's the SH firmware 026 and the BLE 114, that's good. And it's the German region. So we have to select now, go to tools and we're in Austria here. So let's first change the region. Okay, it says if you have the latest firmware and you select German, you cannot jump back. So read everything that is shown. Now we can also select the US version, but EU, we need the EU G30. Let's see what we have here. EU G30 E2. No, this is not the E2. German maneuver. So I'm going to select the EU G30. That's it. Okay. Are we still there? Info. Now we have the G30. Okay. Kinetic energy, that is okay. Let's go now to config. And we're in profile one, that's good. Let's go to throttle and brake and select the echo mode. Speed limit. With the speed limit, we can set the speed limit. As you can see, this is not possible. We're not possible to use the speed based. We have first to set the speed limit in echo mode. Normally it's 15 kilometers per hour. So let's set this to 15. And I will then, when he arrives, I can change some settings if he wants or not. But I will just, for, for it is easier for me when everything is set up. So I have to change only a few settings. Now we can, I want to make two profiles. One is with speed based and I will try to make it as, as original as possible like I think on, on power we have to select 8 amps on the echo mode current smoothness I'm not sure if it is is 500 probably it's okay with 500 
can also increase it later on sport mode maybe to a thousand milliamps or one amp auto braking is off yeah this we have to i will talk to him and we will see if he wants it or not let's set it off and then we have motor start speed it's set to one i set it already to one and on the other profile i will make one with uh power based and a uh, custom curve but also not i'm not going to go over 25 kilometers per hour. I think it's maybe also not possible if you have the, the Austrian bridge. No, it is. It is. Um, let's select now cruise control. He said that he wants to have cruise control. I already talked about him and he misses this. And we can select now time. It's five seconds. And I will set it to, to six or seven seconds. We will see. We'll talk to him later. That's okay. Beep. This is also okay. Mode. You can here select how you if you want to, to regulate the the speed and so on, but I do not need this speed based CC cruise control and this stuff. Uh, but you can play with it. Deep type Beep, it's okay. I want a beep when it's engaging, but not when it's disengaging. That's okay. Modes, uh, set the mode to last. It's also good. And we have lights, brake light mode. It's default. That's okay. Maybe he wants something else. Let's let it like this. Always active brake light. No. Always on headlight. No. User interface. And we can also select here the main dash data. It's speed and here it's already selected the battery level that's okay i think that's good now no reboot sure that this is also not needed you can also select this if you do not want to, to hear a reboot beep i have this selected swap button functions that's you can do this if you want like normally it's one tap for the light to go on and off and two taps to switch the to switch the modes or the yeah the modes from eco mode to speed or something or to drive and you can swap this so if you tap two times you will turn on the light and if you tap one time the mode will switch but this is also okay now we have profile triggers and i will normally is the active profile is the profile one at the moment that's okay apply profile at boot we can now select like let's say profile no i don't want to select it let's it can take the last profile that was apply profile at boot brake pressed apply profile at boot throttle pressed okay apply profile at brake and main button pressed apply profile at brake and main button pressed two times that's what we need apply profile at boot throttle okay we need these two and i will select this profile one and this is going to be profile two so he can when the control of the scooter is started he can press the brake and one time and it will, it will switch to profile one where it's like speed based and in this other profile he can press the brake and two times and it's going to be the other one with with uh, no motor start speed so with he can start with from stand and it is going to be like uh, direct power control and we are here here we have system settings let's see what we have here auto shutdown delay let's let's increase this for a moment auto shutdown when it locked that's okay tailored brightness is also okay and we can use this spoof blf version and spoof bms version i will activate this for him maybe he will use the nine bot app i think that he said he is going to delete it but doesn't matter Error suppression, disable charging mode. We have to use this, I think, because of my head problems. I had this not active. So charging mode was enabled. And then when I drove and pressed the brake, the, I don't know, the battery, the BMS probably talked to the BLE and said, hey, I'm charging now. And then the BLE had some turned off and on. And this is... Normally charging mode is active when you plug it into charge so you are not able to like press on the gas and or, or the throttle and then it is going to like start the motor when it's charging but at the moment 
with SH firmware, at least on mine, it was like this, and I think for him, so for his one, maybe also be, uh, it's maybe, it is maybe also a problem, so I will enable this, or enable the disable, haha. <laughs> So it is now disabled. Actually, we enabled this, but it's disabled. Switch off motor when without throttle. Um, yeah, let's let it like it is. It's also interesting. Maybe it is also option to try out switch off motor without the throttle. So maybe this is completely going to remove the the. It's called the auto braking. No, it's not auto braking, it's the recuperation or something like that. Doesn't matter, this is not needed. Wheel size is set to 10 inch, hull sensor settings. This is something I want to check. And for this to be able to check the hull sensor F, uh, settings, it's the easiest way I will show you now. You can go here to idle dash data and set it, for example, for, for the throttle value. I will explain you what this does actually. We will first select the brake value. Let's go to the brake value here. And then now it is going to show up on the screen. Let me move the camera here a bit. And now you can see what I'm doing. I set it to brake value, I think. Yeah, and now you can see the brake value. And it's in this position, it's to 36. Let's see what it's what will happen when I turn on the okay, nothing. It did not change. Sometimes it's changing. Maybe the throttle will change when I turn on the light. So make sure. So we are now at the lowest lowest value. There's a Hall effect sensor. This is like a magnet here, and there is a sensor that's me measuring the the magnetic field. And now it's at 36, let's say, and we can press it down. And as you can see, okay, it's it's recognizing already a small touch, and it's recognizing. And on the app. You can see here now, let's go here, go down, we have here minimal throttle and minimal brake value. So minimal brake value is, is 55. So normally you will press, you will press the brake, you will here press the brake and it is not, we are already pressing it as you can see, we are on 40, 60 now, okay. And I'm already pressing it, it's already moving, but the controller will not recognize it, or the scooter will not recognize that it is pressed, or it will ignore it, let's say it like this. And you can now, as you can see, we can now try, for example, because it's 55, we need to press it. Yeah, I'm already, when I, you will see it, when I let it go, it jumped up. So we have to move it for, I don't know, half a centimeter from here, maybe down. So we can go to let's say 40 44 or something 43 40 i will set it to i will set it to 45 we can also go lower but i do not want to go too low so we have still a bit we now can move it a bit and it is going to to start earlier and also we can uh, the um, the max brake value. We can also set this one, but I do not want to touch this now. Normally, if you want to, to adjust this, so if I press in down here, it's going to go to 99, and then it is like starting from one again. So we have 99 or maybe 200. I'm not sure if it is 100 and then jumping. Yeah, zero. Okay, zero is 100. And one is hundred one, and so and so on. So we can go to let's see, one hundred seventy. I'm pressing down here, one ninety, two hundred and two, two hundred and four, two hundred and four is the max value. So this is going to reach the max at one hundred and eighty three. So if you reach one hundred eighty three, and you do not have to push much more in because it's already the max so this the last maybe one millimeter is or five millimeters or so it's not necessary to press but i don't want to change this and also on the 
on this. I want to change the, the throttle. Let's see what we can do with the throttle. So I'm going to scroll up again. And where was it? Here. User interface. Let's select the throttle value. And now we have 40. Okay, let's see if it is going to change. If we turn on the light, 40 still. Okay, on this one it's not changing. Maybe it is going to change when the battery level is a bit lower. So we need always to have some some play, let's say, or some. So this is also set to 55. I want to go to 50 actually. Okay, now we're at 50. So we have it has to press it. Let's see how. 41, 42, 40, 50, okay. So he has to move it a bit to get to 50. Okay, nice. And the max value, I don't want to change it. Max brake value, oh, why is it at 200 and... Let's set it to 183, it's okay. On mine, I set this lower. A bit. So I'm actually... Well, you're getting to 100% because I want first to electric brake to work and then the mechanical. Now what we have here, speed regulation options, speed limit regulation stiffness, 25 for this should be okay. BMS simulation is not needed for us, this is if you put in some other battery or so, this is not needed. I will sit down again and now I'm going to set the... Um, where is it? The idle dash data to to the battery level. So here you can see the exact battery level. Now, okay, let's go to the mode number two. Mode number two is the drive mode. And on drive mode, we can set it to 20 kilometers per hour. Like normally, it's in in Austria, 20, I think and 25 on the speed mode and we can also select speed based again power limit uh, the first one was 8 I think on this one it's 15 or something like that 18 not sure maybe 18 let's set it to 8 have to check current smoothness 500 should be okay Auto braking is off. I'm not sure if he needs it. I think he wants to have a bit of auto braking. I will talk to him. I will let it off. Cruise control time is seven seconds. That's okay, I think. We will talk about that tomorrow. Set mode when entering profile. The last mode, that's good. Disable mode as only, no. Light, everything is okay here. And let's set the mode number three. Later we can reduce the system settings here to five minutes auto shutdown or less. Let's go to mode number three to the sports mode. And the sports mode we can set like the speed limit to 26. I'm not sure, maybe I have to, to increase this by a bit because of the... Not sure, because of the... We will see because of the um, speed regulation settings. Maybe it is not going to reach to 16, uh, to 15. We have had to set here 16, and then the regulation will kick in, and it is going to get to 15. We will see. Um, let's go to sports mode, and then now it's to 26. But maybe it is only going to reach to 25 with its weight and everything, and it will like balance out nicely the speed regulation, and everything can. You can ever check everything in on the Roller Plows web page and read about that or maybe other sites also. So now we have also again speed based and the power limit. Let's set this to normally. I'm not sure if it's 25. I think it's 25 in speed mode and uh, current is 1000. It's okay. Auto braking is off. Motor start speed is 1 km per hour. That's okay. Activation delay. So, okay. Everything is okay here. I don't want to change anything now. 
So now we have profile one and we can just take this profile and manage profile, go to rename and call it like stock, let's say.